Sorry about that. This uh, new phone of mine, and I I only bought this phone so I can set up security um, around my place. But um, I was talking about the uh, Great Wheel Clicks, and I have another video that discusses different click assemblies. So, uh, but this particular one, it's got a wire that uh, makes the click work. But you want to uh, test the click to make sure it's working. Also want to talk about the virgin crutch assembly. This is what makes your clock tick. This virgin crutch assembly goes off the escape wheel and it's what makes your clock tick. I have another video out there on putting a clock in beat. This crutch assembly is welded onto the verge assembly. If you bend this section back and forth, you're going to break this. So never bend it up here back and forth. You will break it and you're going to have to buy another one. The way you put a clock in beat is bending between the elbow that comes out of the clock and what I call the foot. Put a bend in it. If it's not working right, bend it the other way. And it'll only take small bends at a time. And the foot has to be separated to allow the pin limb leader wire to bounce back and forth from this wire to this wire. Like I said, I have another video on how to put a clock in beat, and that discusses all of that. But when you clean up the clock, you want to take a, uh, a Dremel, a whetstone, whatever to these pallets um, and uh, make sure that you get all the dirt and grime off of it both on this side and on this side and you also want to clean up the pivots on this thing I personally use a Dremel with a wire brush and that seems to do a good enough job to clean up. I take my Dremel and I will take the wire brush and I'll clean in this area and in this area and on both sides of the pivots. Now let's talk about the uh, uh, strike side. You have the um, You have the the governor fan. Now this fan, if I was to blow on it and it automatically just starts spinning like crazy, it's too loose on this thing. If this fan is too loose on this arbor, when your cuckoo uh, activates, it's going to cuckoo too fast. You might have to bend this tab to tighten up the blade that's on this arbor. If I can go like this and it just spins erratically, it is too loose on that arbor. So tighten it up or your cuckoo will cuckoo way too fast. You have what's called the strike side third wheel. The strike side third wheel has got this warning pin on it. This warning pin has to be at a 90 degree angle like that. And uh, um, that's what catches the rack stop lever to, um, to uh, stop the clock from cuckooing afterwards, but also to uh, put it in warning. That's why it's called a warning strike uh third wheel with warning lever. You have this, and this is what 
makes the cuckoo go in and out, and I'm going to get you the right name for it. It is called the Two-Armed Bell Crank and Arbor. And that is what gets the cuckoo to stop cuckooing also. It drops into the... Um, into this lever right here, and I'm going to get you the right name for it. And it is called the Cuckoo Bird Rod Locking Lever. This Cuckoo Bird rocky, uh, Rod Locking Lever is what drops into this. this lever here to stop it from cuckooing when it's all finished. Just like that. And it's held on by an E-clip. Then you have the uh, strike train second wheel that has that cam with gathering pin on it or what I like to call Pac-Man and like I said I'm not going to take that off and I already told you the reason why and then you have the strike side great wheel with it again it has the click on it with the wire and you want to make sure it's working and then you have what is called the minute wheel and with center minute wheel minute hand arbor with center wheel which is this right here and i do not take these off either uh, they are put on there with compression you would have to take this compression washer off here it's got the spring and then you slide this gear off I don't take them off unless I absolutely have to. Um, and then you have the bird arm. And uh, I don't believe the book has got the right name for this in it. Um, and so this bird arm the lever that the bird holds onto, it fits into these slots. Whether you have a regular 25 or a bat off or an AMS, they're basically all the same, okay? They got a spring on it that gives you the action. So if your bird is not going back into the door, if it's not acting like that, first of all, check the spring to make sure it's connected and it's not broken. The next thing you want to do when I lift this up and down, you could see that it stays into place. If this, these tabs that hold this into place are too loose, and if this is too much slop on it, sometimes the bird will go back in the door and sometimes it won't. And that's because normally, because these tabs, other than your clock needing service and needing clean it's because these tabs are spread too far apart and you got too much uh, play in them same thing if they're too tight if they're too tight when you let go even though it's got the spring on it when you let go if it doesn't bounce back it's because these tabs are too tight so they have to be adjusted just properly in order for them to uh, work properly and that pretty well discusses other than the four posts that the nuts go on this is called the front plate it's the front of the clock this is called the rear plate last thing to discuss is this piece of wire right here you see how it's squished in like that if, it, if it's being squished in like that, it doesn't cause the pendulum leader wire to swing back and forth easily. So you need to spread this apart. 
So it's similar to that right there. And if it's spread too far apart, if it's going up the bends of the uh, of the uh, U here, that and this is called your post, this post unscrews, and I would not recommend unscrewing it because the more you unscrew it and screw it back on, eventually the threads are going to wear out and you're going to find that you got to tighten this thing even further when it's tight to to allow this thing to be tight and when it's tight this is no longer going to be parallel uh with the ground it's going to be up here somewhere and so uh certain things i don't take apart on clocks and there's a reason why uh, i will not take the uh, hammer apart because this copper wire is very fragile. Some people take the wire apart and take the, 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 the gong off. I do not because you only have so many threads on this thing. And once you're done, you have to replace the spring. And so as long as it's working, there's an old saying, if it's not broken, don't fix it. I'm not going to uh, fix it, and I'm not going to take it apart. And so uh, it's time to put this uh, movement other than I need to take, and again, I will not take the bird post off because it has, the, these are brass clamps. The more you take these off and the more you squeeze them, brass breaks easily. I will not take them off because brass breaks easily. When you get to take these things off and put them back on and after you snap one of these, guess what? This movement is no longer could be used unless you're very good at soldering. You need to replace the, the at least the, um, um, the front plate because you just broke off these brass fittings and uh, unless you're good at soldering, I wouldn't, I, I'm not going to mess with them. I don't take this off unless I absolutely have to. Now, I have taken them off to, uh, to adjust them. I have taken them off to fix them. I have taken them off to put one from a bad movement into another clock. But typically, I will not take these off. Um, what you do is up to you. I'm just showing you what I do. And I will take off the um, the E-clip on this uh, part right here. And let me tell you what I told you the part was. The Cuckoo Bird Rod Locking Lever is what this part is. And when you clean these parts up, if it's got a hole, take a toothpick to every hole. You'd be surprised that when you put a clock back together, that when you put this back on, if it doesn't drop easily, it's because it's got oil, grease, dirt, etc. inside that hole. So if it's got a hole to include all the pivot holes, to include the um, the uh, snail, if if it's got a hole, take a toothpick to it because you can clean out all the gunk from it to get it to function properly. The snail, eight star wheel, this, the minute wheel, the uh, the snail, the rack, and all the pivot holes on a movement, take a toothpick to it. The ultrasonic cleaner, you, your manual cleaning, ultrasonic cleaners, I said this again and again and again, always take your movements apart. Your ultrasonic cleaner will not clean out the hard to reach spots. 
So take a toothpick to all these pivot holes when you're done. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope that it has helped you. And uh, please keep watching my videos. Let's talk about the birds real fast. I got another video on how I'm talking about the birds. There's different kinds of birds out there. This particular bird, when it lifts, its tongue, beak, bottom beak drops. This has got a metal base to it. A lot of the newer, um, sorry, mid modern cuckoo birds got plastic bases to them. I don't like the plastic bases because if you tighten it up just a little bit too much, you'll break the base. And I've seen that a lot. And I tried gluing them and everything else and it never works. And uh, the the only thing I don't like with the metal bases, if you uh, if you're working on a clock and somebody over tightened it, what happens is these are brass screws and the brass threads in them get smushed up to where they won't tighten anymore. That's the only thing I don't like about the uh, metal base um, uh, birds. Antique. Cuckoo clocks may or may not have articulated wings. And there are some modern clocks out there that have articulated wings. Popo cuckoo clocks, Mikan cuckoo clocks, almost all of those Japanese-made clocks have got articulated wings. The uh, Russian cuckoo clocks have articulated wings. And the Russian cuckoo clock, the way you tell a Russian cuckoo clock from a German-made cuckoo clock is by the tail. The Russian cuckoo clock has got a wire that comes out of the base of the bird that's a long wire, and it's not a plastic piece or a wooden piece, but it's a wire piece. And, uh, and that you can identify a Russian cuckoo clock real easily by the bird um, that it is made so anyway, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. Um, and uh, God bless.